Uh, what I can say is that uh, I'm, uh, first of all, very proud of this uh, honorary degree from the Corvino University of Budapest. It's a very prestigious university of Budapest, and, the, and uh, I felt uh, very proud uh, when I knew about this distinction, because, in fact, one of the points that I've been trying to push during this uh, 10 years uh, leading the European Commission has been the reunification of Europe. In 2004, uh, there were 15 countries. Now we are 28 countries. It means that even through all the crises, we were able to almost double the membership of the European Union. This shows how European Union is resilient, how strong is this uh, process of European integration. So the forces of European integration are stronger than the forces of disintegration. I really believe in that, and I think after leaving all these crises and uh, keeping Europe united and open, I think we can confirm this. I also had the pleasure today of handing over to Prime Minister Orban the partnership agreement that we have concluded uh, with Hungary. So it's uh, the most important instrument for investment in Hungary. Uh, in the last years, more than 75% of all the public investment in Hungary come, came from the European Union. This shows how concrete is our solidarity. It's not just words. It's the structural funds from the European Union that can give us support to growth in uh, Hungary. And during the next seven years, this is going to happen according to this partnership agreement that today I hand over to the Prime Minister of Hungary. Now what is important is that that money is well spent, spent in the areas of the future. Better uh, business um, climate, reform of the administration, but also investment in science, in education, uh, trying to address also some problems, social problems like poverty, trying that all Hungarians can benefit from this investment. And this was the message I also tried to convey during the ceremony that we had today with the uh, Prime <coughs> Minister of Hungary. So I think Hungary also can look to the future with great confidence, and I'm happy that uh, even in difficult times, the European Union was able not only to keep, but to reinforce its solidarity to uh, the new member states, as people say, and in this case, in this concrete case, to Hungary, a country that is very much at the center of the European Union.